Hi, this is PDF Berserker Arcade at BerserkerArcade.com and this is tutorial 239. Now when we left off in our last tutorial, we had just finished going ahead and making one row of buttons, uh, putting them in a uh, horizontal layout, and then just centering that layout in the center of the screen. Now we want to start getting into creating a panel to actually start storing all these little buttons in it and make some sort of little, um, well, basically a layout for our, our uh, loot window. So I'm going to go ahead and keep using the graphics that are included with uh, the example projects that we get from Prime31 simply because, well, if you've downloaded this package and you're following along, you have access to them. So I'm going to go ahead again, open up the folder. Uh, it's under texture, packer sources. Um, I believe kitchen sink has all the ones we need. And I can't remember offhand what they are again. I believe it was click down. Uh, I believe we had unchecked. Uh, we have the progress bars. We really should start making another folder and putting the ones that we're actually including in them. And I think I'm actually going to do that now. So I'm just going to create a new folder over here and I'm just going to call it uh, used assets. And just let me shrink this down. We don't need it quite yet. What I'm going to do actually is just copy the ones that I'm using. I'm not going to move them. I just want to copy them. Um, see progress bar, progress bar, border, and I think that's all we're using right now. Uh, but ones that we're going to be using in the next tutorial, or at least in this one, possibly the next one, uh, will be the panel ones. And I don't see the panel ones here. Um, here they are, vertical panel bottom, vertical panel middle, vertical panel top. So I'm just going to right click, uh, I'm going to copy, I come over to my own folder, and I'm just going to paste in there, this way I know exactly which ones I'm currently using. And I'm just going to move that off screen, uh, just so I can open this up, uh, make it full screen again. I'm going to take all the ones that I'm currently using, and just like before we'll drag them into our right panel over here. And I'll go ahead and position them all here for me. Now I'm going to turn off the auto size. And I believe we're doing 512 by 512. All right, that does fit everything in. Now I'm not using the HD versions. I am using the, the low definition versions, but it really doesn't matter because I'm just prototyping stuff out. So I just, I just want something there to use. Uh, so I'm looking here. Here's the middle one, the middle panel, uh, the panel top and panel bottom. Uh, we have our two little buttons, and we have a progress bar. Everything's there. Great. Uh, I'm still not going to bother with any spacing. I'm just going to leave it like this here for now. If I do need spacing, I'll come back. Uh, that's good there. Uh, we'll come down here. Uh, nothing here I need to change. Uh, here we go to JSON, data file. Uh, let's open this up. And I was calling it uh, GUI sheet, so I'm just going to keep it calling it that. And make sure it's saving in PNG format, uh, image format. I'm just going to keep it like that. And that should be right as well. Now, before I actually go ahead and save it, I want to open up my project window. And I want to delete the old ones I have. So let me move this over here. And I'm going to go into Asset, Resources, and here's both of them right here. I'm actually just going to come in delete them. And this way here, when I republish, We'll put them back in here for me again, and just like before, we have to go in and change the JSON to a TXT. And we'll use TXT. I'll just take a quick look at my actual sheet here. Yep, everything's there. I'll just close that down. I'm going to shrink this down for now. I'm going to open up Unity for our project. Uh, shrink the plugins. I was looking at some of the different uh, APIs in there. Um, so we're going to come to resources. I just want to make sure my GUI sheet is set up correctly. Uh, clamp, GUI, and 512 by 512. Everything's fine. And if I start it, everything should work just like I did before since I have the exact same things in here. Okay, so let's close that and let's start incorporating these, these panel images. So I'm going to go ahead and open up, oh, not Xcode, I want to open up Mono Develop. My hand twitched a bit. 
And let's go ahead and make four rows now. So we'll have to come up here and turn this into an array. And we'll do it just like we did down here with our buttons. And we'll make this an array. And then down here in our for loop, we'll just say row, give the index. Actually, we're going to do another for loop in here, sorry. So we'll just say for. If I can type it right. And I'll just take this block here, put it inside of here. I will just move it in a bit. And we'll change the index here. I'm just going to change it to Y. And the max value will now be row.length. And make sure we increase the Y index. And then we'll just say row. Use the Y index. And we'll just say that it's equal to a new UI uh, horizontal layout. And I want to give it its spacing here, which will be, uh, let's just, I can't remember what the other one, I think the other one was five. And it was a little bit big, so I'm just going to say three on this one. And we're also going to need to be able to position these, because if we just ran it the way it is right now, if we take a look, uh, all of them are just going to be stacked on top of each other uh, if we fix the errors. Uh, we have to. Put the index in down here. And we'll come back. And we have this one here. We're just actually going to comment this one out for now. And there we go. And if we start it up, you know, even though we're getting all four rows, as you can see up here, uh, they're all in the same spot. So we actually want to move them down a bit. So let's just come down here and we'll just say row, give it the index, dot position. And there's a few ways we can do it. This one here uh, takes a vector three in so we can like position it precisely. Uh, just for now, I'm just going to say just from, uh, let's just go from uh, top left. Actually, let's just actually set the position according to its vector three. We haven't done it this way yet. So vector three, it's pretty much just like the vector threes we used before. So I'm going to start off at five X, uh, five Y and zero uh, on the Z. And of course that's going to put them all in the same place. And I want them to uh, one row to go down after each row. Uh, so normally you would just add to it. And what we'd want to add would be Y uh, multiplied, you know, Y being the index multiplied uh, by the, the size of our button, uh, which I believe in this case is 50, 50 or 45. It's one or the other. Uh, let's just try this here out. And if we start it up, uh, first off, we had an error. And it's because we've got our new keyword. And we'll come back in. Error goes away. We start it back up. Uh, we're only getting one row. And if you notice here, uh, it's not uh, aligned right. But if we come over here, we actually do have the uh, right number of rows here. And if we start looking at them, you know, we see how they're going up. Uh, it's a little bit different with this vector three than what seems to logically make sense in my mind. What we actually want to do is uh, have a negative number. And I think uh, 50, well, well, we'll start with 50. And we'll start up, 50 is pretty good. Uh, but you notice it's still not quite right at the, the very first row. And if we just start this off at a negative number as well. Uh, we'll go back in, start it back up. There we go. So we now have our four rows. And uh, they're pretty much laid out exactly how we want. Uh, the icons, yes, they are a little bit big. Uh, but we're just trying to get the functionality up and working right now. Uh, so let's stop that and I want to be able to add this to some sort of other container. So we'll have our four buttons here inside of one container, which is our horizontal layout. And then we make four horizontal layouts and we put them inside of another container that we're going to refer to as our uh, loot window. So let's go ahead and look at that right now. 
but we'll head back into model develop. Now the way I wanted to do this was to be able to come down here and to create a UI panel. Well, I guess it would be a vertical panel. And there it is right there. And I'm just going to call it panel for now. And we'll make it equal to a new, oh, we don't have, well, we'll just create it here in, in the one line. So it's a UI vertical panel dot create. And then if we look here, uh, the four things it takes, or sorry, the three things it takes is the top file name, which is going to be the basically the head of our, header of our panel, uh, the middle file name, which is going to be the middle of uh, our panel, and it's going to be tiled vertically. And then the bottom of our panel, which is kind of like the footer. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and quickly just template that out. And we'll grab the names in a minute from those files we've included. And uh, let me see, I'll have them in here, the actual names. If we open up our texture packer, we actually have the names uh, right here. But I'm actually going to cheat and just to make sure I don't get any typos, I'm just going to grab them from here. So here's the top one. So I'll just come back in. Well, we don't need health bar anymore. So we'll just come in, paste this here, make sure we add the .png. And we need the middle, which is right here. Well, since having a typo that causes us to bang our head against the wall for a half hour. And of course the bottom. All right, so we've got that. Uh, one thing I'm gonna do is make sure that it's uh, placed right in the center of the screen. And let's go ahead into Unity and no error. So we'll start it up. And here's our little panel here. And it doesn't look very good because we just have the, the two things stacked on top of each other. Now, if you look here, it looks like we actually have two buttons in there. Uh, but let's go ahead and actually start adding some stuff into here. And the way we do that is pretty much the same as the horizontal layout. Uh, we're going to say panel dot add child. And if we look at the parameters here for what it takes, it takes a UI sprite. Uh, the problem is our UI horizontal layout is not a sprite. So if we actually try to add this array of rows that we have, uh, we're going to get an error. And right here. So we need some way to convert it to a UI sprite or add a overloaded function so that it, ex it can accept uh, the horizontal layout. Uh, just to show kind of briefly how the, the panel does work, I'm going to comment this line out. And well, we are going to add uh, just the actual buttons themselves to it. So I'm just going to say panel, add child. And I'm just going to add these buttons that we've created. I believe there's, what, 16 of them, 4 by 4 And those were called slots. So I'll save that off, get rid of our errors, and when we start it up, we'll get this big panel down the center. And it looks like I did do something wrong on the bottom there. Uh, vertical panel bottom, vertical panel middle, vertical panel top. Uh, let me just take a look here. If we go ahead and actually look at the image that's being displayed here, and then go ahead and actually look at our GUI sheet, Oops, I uh, grabbed the wrong thing here. <laughs> anyway, uh, it seems to be grabbing this section here for our bottom. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and rebuild this and rebuild the uh, text document that comes along with it. And hopefully that fixes it. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll head back into my texture packer. And well, this time I'm going to add a little bit of spacing. Uh, I'm just going to do the uh, shape padding of one. And I'll go ahead and publish it again. And I'll go ahead and open up that folder because what we're going to want to do is get rid of our old text and rename our JSON to be text. All right, we'll just close that off. 
I'm just going to move it to the other screen. I'll shrink this back down and let's see if that fixes it. Uh, it's still not fixing it. Uh, I'm not 100% sure why. I'll take a little bit, uh, look into it a little bit later. Uh, if you look here, yeah, it's still grabbing the wrong section. But uh, that's not what I really wanted to uh, talk about in this. What I wanted to point out at the end of this video is that we can actually add our GUI, uh, sorry, the uh, UI uh, horizontal layouts to our panels. And to get around that, we're either going to have to uh, create some sort of overloaded uh, method or maybe some sort of inherited class to allow us to add that. I uh, brought up the uh, this problem to um, Prime31 on the forms, and there might be some quick fix that they can do on their end and put out a new uh, build. If not, uh, we'll just uh, make some sort of inherited class from it just so we're not touching anything in the base classes and uh, we'll work around it uh, in our next tutorial. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.